Parter 2. Prepared by Norhainika El Sankopan from Pauli Lumabao Memorial National High School. Topic Prepare and Cook Seafood. Lesson 1 Perform Mix and Place. Tools and equipment needed in preparing and cooking seafood pieces. 1. Piece bone tweezer. Piece bone tweezer are used for removing small bones from row of fish. The ends perfectly touch, allowing you to grip the most bone pull out. Also known as kitchen scissors, are intended for cutting, trimming food such as meat and fish. 3. Shellfish knives. This is classic looking pocket knife, ideal for gently opening oyster and shellfish. Also known as chopping board. It is a drawled board on which to place material for cutting. The kitchen cutting board is commonly used in preparing food. 5. Kitchen knife. It is any that is intended to be used in food preparation. While much of this work can be accomplished with a few general purposes. 6. Rubberized Gloves Its primary purpose is the protection of the hand and performing tasks, especially during the preparation of fish. 7. Kitchen Brushes It is made for multiple kitchen tasks. They can be used for sanitary cleaning or they can be used to clean food, such as fruits, mushrooms, or shellfish. Spatula. It is a handheld tool that is used for lifting, flipping, or spreading. 9. Frying pan. A frying pan or a skillet is a flat bottom pan used for frying, shelling, and burrowing foods. 9. Grill. It is a device used for cooking food. With a grill, food is usually roasted. Some grills are used charcoal or wood, and other grills use gas to cook the food. Using wood or charcoal makes smoke and change the flavor of the food. 10. Tongue. It is used for picking up pieces of coal and placing them on a fire without burning fingers or getting them dirty. 11. Plating plate. Choose your plate wisely by making sure it's big to allow it food to stand out. Well, oven. It is thermally insulated chamber used for the heating, baking, or drying of a substance and most commonly used for cooking. 13. Refrigerator. Sometimes called fridge is a machine for keeping items cold or put and spoiled for a longer period of time. 14. Plastic packaging for frozen. It is used for packing frozen product like fish and meat. 15. Sheet pan and tray. A sheet pan, baking tray, or baking sheet is a flat rectangular metal pan or ceramic used in oven. 16. Fish scale. It is a kitchen tool used for taking out the scales of the fish. Fish are divided into two types. These are hot fish, land fish. Fat fish, the term fatty fish, these are the tastiest and healthiest food from the sea. Oily fish and full of omega 3 fatty acid, such as salmon, tuna, trout. 
Mama Karel. Land fish are those that are low in fat, such as salt, cod, red snapper, bass. Classification of seafood We have pan fish, selfish. Pan fish are fish with fangs and internal skeletons. Types of pan fish saltwater fish and freshwater fish. Saltwater fish include flatfish, example, flounder. All. Next is round fish, example, black sea bird, blowfish, grouper, cod. Next is freshwater fish, example, catfish, round, eel, round, and tilapia. We have also sell fish. Fish with external shells but no internal bone structures. They have hard outer shells. Classification of shell fish, mollusks and crustacea. Mollusks are soft sea animals. They have bivalves. They have a pair of hind shells, sample, clams, oysters. Next is, we have univalves. They have a single shell. Example is abalone. Next is, we have cephalopods. Example, octopus and squid. Then we have the crustacean. Crustacean are animals with segment cell and jointed legs. Example, shrimps and crabs. Market forms of fish. One whole, completely intake as a cod. Two drawn, viscera removed from the fish. Three steak, cross section slices each containing a section of backbone. Fourth, dress. The cera, scales, head, tail, and fence are removed in the fish. Fifth, fillet. Fillet is a boneless side of fish with or without skin. Next, butterfly fillet. Both sides of a fish still join but with bones removed. Seven, stick or trances. Fish cross section slices of fillet. Then we have the characteristic of shellfish. A mollusk. Oyster have rough irregular shells. Then flesh of oyster is extremely soft and delicate and contain high percentage of water. Hard shell clams can be eaten raw. Soft shell clams are called steamers. The usual way to cook is to steam. And then the shell of mussel are not as heavy as clam shells. Yellow to orange in color and firm but tender when cooked. Then, scallops are creamy white in color and have a sweet flavor. Then, squid is somewhat chewy and are cut up or either fried quickly. Then, we have the crustacean. Crustacean, we have the lobster shell, is dark green or bluish green but torn red when cooked. Live lobster must be alive when cooked. Chicken, the freshness of fish and shellfish. A 
friend fish. Fresh and mild color. Number two, eyes are clear, shiny and bulgy. Number three, red or pink gill. Number four, textures of flesh is firm or elastic. And number five, shiny scales and tightly clean on skin. Then we have shellfish. An oysters, clams, mussels in the shell must be alive. Tightly closed shells when just tall. Live or zac oyster must have a very mild, sweet smell. Three, discard any mussels that are very light in weight or seems to be hollow. Four, strong fish odor or brownish color is a sign of age or spoilage. Five, live lobster must be alive when cooked. The meat will be firm and the tail spring back when threatened. Six, frozen shrimp shall be solidly frozen when received. Glazed shrimp shall be shiny with no freezer born. Eight, all shrimp shall smell fresh and sweet. A strong fishy or iodine smell indicate age or spoilage. Nine, Live crab shall be kept alive until cooked and then frozen crab meat shall be treated like any other fish. Then we have the composition and nutritive value of fish. Fish and selfish contain high quality protein and other essential nutrients and are an important part of a healthful diet. In fact, a well-balanced diet that includes a variety of fish and selfish can contribute to heart health and aid in children's proper growth and development. Fat fish are those that are high in fat and land fish are those that are less in fat. It is important to recognize the kind of fish that we are going to prepare and cook so that we can know what cooking methods are suitable in that kind of fish to prevent overcook and undercook. Overcooking of seafood can cause loss of flavor and lessen the nutrients value. Undercooked seafood can lead also into poisoning. A fish is made of water, protein, fats, and small amount of minerals and vitamins. It has very little connective tissue. This means that 1. Fish cook very quickly even at low heat. 2. Fish is naturally tender. High heat result to toughening of protein. 3. Moist heat methods are used not to create tenderness but to preserve moistness and provide variety. And lastly, 4. Cooked fish must be handled very carefully. Thank you.